It was an emotional day in a local courtroom. A teenage driver who hit and killed three people pleaded guilty, but she will spend no time in jail. The victims included a mother and her baby, along with a grandmother. Channel 2's Nicole Carr is live in Cherokee County. And Nicole knew since 5 o'clock you spoke to that teenage driver's lawyer. Well, Jovita, he says the plea was her idea because she didn't want to put the victim's families through a trial. With this being a misdemeanor case, the most she could have seen was 36 months behind bars. Now we're talking 36 months probation. With first offender status, all of this comes off her record. When she's done with it, she'll get her license back in a year. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. My animosity towards the situation is absolutely immense, and that is why. Zero accountability for your actions. Loved ones of three pedestrian victims remembered their faces, recounted stories about good times, and asked a Cherokee County judge to give the toughest sentence possible to 18 year old Zoe Reardon. It's ridiculous to say they walked out in front of you. That didn't happen, and you know it didn't happen. I want to take this opportunity to say how truly sorry I am. The judge accepted Reardon's plea and gave her 36 months probation in the misdemeanor fatality case from September 2017. That's when Reardon was leaving the horse stables and crashed into Caitlin Hunt, her three-month-old baby Riley, and their close friend Kathy Deming. The group was walking to a concert in Woodstock Amphitheater when Reardon hit and killed them. Reardon has said she never saw them that evening, and her defense has pointed to forensics, arguing this was never a distracted driving case. Initially, investigators decided not to charge her. That changed as a civil suit against the city of Woodstock was filed by Hunt's husband, who pointed out the lack of pedestrian-friendly crossings. Victims' loved ones told the court they they were disappointed by Reardon's move to apologize on Channel 2 last year rather than reach out directly. The only time there was a desire for a conversation was when it was you, your best interest were at heart. People are hurting and they get to say what they want. The issue is, you know, the police told us not to contact them. The plaintiff's lawyers, when the civil suits that were going on, told us not to contact them. And the criminal case was a sort of an afterthought. I asked Reardon's attorney about the public criticism over her sentencing. They can say what they want, but when you only watch two-minute snippets of the news to figure out what the facts are, um, you know, that's just not right. The issue is the cell phone had nothing to do with it. There was not distracted driving. Um, but in the end, she just didn't want to put everybody through it, and she accepted the plea. Reardon will complete probation check-in from Texas. That's where she's in college. And in a statement, uh, the Hunt family sent us calling this situation a tragedy and saying the court actions cannot heal us. We must continue to heal ourselves. We're live in Cherokee County. Nicole Carr, Channel 2 Action News.